So I was having a conversation with um, a good friend of mine yesterday. And in that conversation, what I told him is, you know, people jump into all kind of relationships, mother and child, lovers, family. Um, we jump into all these type of relationships and we want people to um, be who we need them to be for us. We want another person to become peaceful for us without doing the work for our own stuff to gain that peace. And you know what I told him was, um, I can't be your peace. I'm not qualified to be your peace and be my own peace. You know, I'm not qualified to do the work of your essence. I'm not because I don't know why you're here. And you know, that kind of like, he was just like, wow, okay, that was a bit profound, but I get what you're saying. And I see that so many people are struggling to let people go that they love, whether it be children, whether it be a mate, family members, they're struggling to let these people go because they feel obligated to walk for these people. But guess what? We cannot do anybody's work for them that they are not willing to do for themselves. And it's a disrespect to yourself for one and your time, your whole entire essence to try to walk for someone else when they are showing you that they refuse to walk for themselves. Me personally, I'm not doing that. I'll let your ass walk smooth off of a damn cliff when I see that your overgrown ass know how to walk and you refuse to walk. Baby, go on over that cliff. I don't have no I don't have no issue with watching you go over it. You know what I'm saying? I have no issue with that. Um is the the thing of we we many of us purposely do things to defeat ourselves the self-defeating acts that we do and then many of us also have the nerve and the audacity to try to play the guilt trip on people that are in our lives that they we know love us that they know love us should i say because i don't play that game right there if i did it to myself it ain't your fault nor your business i gotta get myself out of that you didn't put me into the situation so i'm going to get out of that but these people that do these self-defeating acts amongst themselves they will have the fucking nerves and audacity to try to see if they can make you feel guilty when you hand them their shit back when you give them their life back they want to get an attitude about that um and i say to you to them motherfuckers them self-defeating people that's trying to play them mental games with you give them their shit back so you can keep going and, and stay in your peace another person is not worth us ever stepping out of our character for. I mean, yes, we will step out of it because we, we will get mad. We are spirits having a human experience. We, we have an array of different emotions. But another person has really no business keeping you out of your character. You know, when you choose to stay out of that character, that's a choice that you make. But these self-defeating people that are in your life, man, please get them back their shit so they can go on about their business. And let them know that you can go play those games with somebody else. Because guess what? I wasn't with you when you got yourself into that fuck shit. And I don't have to be with you to get you out of that either. I'm not here to do your job. I'm here to do my job. And my job is to make sure that I'm okay, to make sure the breath of life, the God that I am is okay at all costs, even if you're not okay. And to some people that sounds so harsh to say, coming from a love or someone that they love, it sounds very harsh to, to from a parent to a child, but the reality of it is from a family member to family member, but the reality of it is each one of us here have has a slew of hardships that we're going to go through and if i'm always picking yours up and putting them in my basket whenever you whenever you going through shit but you ain't never picking up none of mine hey i'm overloading myself i'm overworking myself and i'm trying to do a job that i'm not qualified for and so many people try to figure out why am i depressed why am i stressed out you're depressed and you stressed out and you mad and you sad and fuck and you want to kill everybody because you keep picking up everybody's shit that ain't yours. Leave them people with their shit. Let their spirit, let their essence, let their higher self come in and do what they it, it needs to do. Let their higher self tear their motherfucking ego, a.k.a. their human up until they say, I surrender to me. Because that's the name of the game. Will you surrender your human to your essence? And if you ain't doing that, guess what? You are supposed to and you will go through everything that you're going through. You wrote that shit into your script. 
You wrote it into your script. So however long it is going to take you to surrender to your essence, that's how long it was supposed to take you. That's exactly how long it's supposed to take you. That's in my opinion. That's how I look at it. That's the way my life has been. And I speak on life experiences always, all the time. You don't have to deal with nobody else's shit. If they are defeating themselves, let them stay defeating yourself. But don't defeat yourself for them. Do not love their peace more than you love yours. Don't do it. Because they don't love their peace and they do want you to be miserable for them. Something inside of them has said you are supposed to suffer with me because I'm suffering. But you know what? Let them keep that inside of them and you show them what you feel is a goddamn lie. Because I don't feel the same motherfucking way. And even something what my love was saying, you know, that's the religious, that's the religion aspect of it. That's that, that's that plugged in religion shit that you have to suffer with people that you love. And that's bullshit. You know, I was just sitting back like, mm, okay, okay, somebody, somebody's spirit been talking to them. Somebody essence has came in and say, hey, say, hey, 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 hey. Hey, let me talk to you. Man, stop suffering with people. Stop doing that. Say no. Show them that you love yourself more than you fucking love them. Your peace comes before theirs. Everything about you comes before theirs. And what you are showing them is what self-love looks like. What you are showing them what self-preservation looks like. What you are showing them is what selfishness looks like. And y'all need to go look up the definition of selfishness. Because it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. What you are showing these people is how to save yourself and stop putting other people before them. I don't give a fuck who it may be. If you want to drown and I know how to swim, bitch, and I'm giving you out my hand and you start pulling me under, bitch, I'm going to pull you to me and bite the fuck out of you so you can let my hand go and I'm going to swim on by my business. I'm not going to let you take me down because you want to go down because you don't want to lift yourself up. I'm not going to disrespect my essence like that, man. It's gifted me with too much. It's gifted me with too fucking much, man.